that was way harder than I hoped it'd be. Some of the logs and rounds that I'm splitting now have uh, branch knots in them and it just makes it that much harder. And plus they're still wet, so it's kind of stringy. But I gotta get more wood dried out best I can um, in the hopes that I'm gonna be able to use some of it this year. So uh, one of y'all asked why I'm splitting them so small. Well, I'm not splitting them all so small. And that one clip that you made that comment on, it was just a couple of rounds that I did and it was in the very beginning. And the reason's pretty simple. I want to dry it out. So the smaller I split it, the easier it is to dry out. So I hope that answers that question. So in addition to using the chainsaw to cut off, cut up some of these rounds into you know 20 inch lengths, give or take, um, I'm splitting some wood. Uh, I'm not going to be getting up on the roof today to continue the solar panels until this evening. Uh, for two reasons. Number one, I'm by myself, and it's a two-person job all day long. And number two, it's hotter than Africa out there. I mean, super hot. You see a sweat pouring off me. It's like 10 a.m. So, but anyway, I got something I want to run by you. There's another volunteer. I'm not sure what kind of tomato this is. They're kind of, you know, bigger than a, whoops, bigger than a cherry tomato. Way smaller than a beef steak tomato but it's producing something and that's cool right, I'm gonna use both hands and use my clippers thanks JM at the nut house some more watermelon growing out here put a bunch of grass out in the garden yesterday and some more cantaloupe and again these things don't look or feel good oh, stem is rotted away I guess more chicken feed is not a complete loss, but I'd certainly rather be eating the stuff. I have no idea why all these stems have rotted off. Oh man, that's all it's just a complete bust. Oh, gone it. So we talk about nothing going to waste. And here we got the eggshells from the eggs that the chickens give us, and we eat. And we crush them back up. And we give some back to the chicks. We put it in with some chopped up corn. That we give to them. We put this in the magic bullet and we really get it nice fine like a powder. We put it in there so they consume it back because they need the calcium to produce harder and better eggshells. And then some of it we put into our composter because that's good for the compost too. Ta-da! There's, the there's the eggshells after they've been pulverized in the magic bullet. So calcium, good for humans, good for chickens, good for soil and plants. All right, it's been mixed in there nice. Cook away, composting fools. You know, there's few things that give me the great joy of going out to my garden and picking the bounty that's out there. I got a bunch of sweet basil, a bunch of cherry tomatoes, a beefsteak tomato, a ton of okra, green peppers, red peppers, and I got to go back for a second round. It's pretty exciting. All right, before I go back out for round two in the garden, I'm going to sit down and have this lovely breakfast my wife made bacon eggs and some croissants and the eggs came from our chickens obviously next year I hope to have our very own bacon of course we can always make those I would love nothing more than to make a Denver omelet next year with every everything in it coming from the homestead okay gang we just want to share with you how we preserve these tomatoes if you're growing a garden, uh, hopefully you're going to have more than you can eat at any one given time. So you have to preserve them. So we did some reading and figured out at least one way to do this. And you might have an additional way or additional ways you can share with us in the comments. Was to wash the tomatoes, cut out the core and any nasty spots that might be on there. Put them on a tray, freeze them for 24 hours and then put them in a freezer bag and go ahead and deep freeze them. So now we're taking them out because we're about to make some sauce. And um, we're going to just wet them down, put some water over them, peel the skin off of it, which I hope is easy. And then we're going to just crush them up and use them for tomato sauce. Look at that. It's like Billy Mays here. Look at how easy it is to peel these tomatoes. Can you core an apple? Billy Mays here. Cool. Looks good. That was pretty easy. <laughs> 